Hi, Dr. Michelle Paris here, naturopathic doctor and clinic director here at the Poppy Clinic. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of blood work and functional tests available to you to help optimize your health status. It is really important that we first discuss abandoning the old paradigm that no news is good news. It's no longer acceptable. And from a functional perspective, information and knowledge is power. So whether or not your blood work falls within a reference range, you probably want to know about it because that is how we understand what is going on with your body. So allow me to offer you a new way to think about blood work where your naturopathic doctor helps empower and educate you to understand what it is that your blood work means so that you not only not get a phone call if there's nothing out of range, but that you understand where you fall within a certain reference range and where you want to fall within that reference range to feel optimal and to be in optimal health. These are really important key features when choosing to work with a naturopathic doctor. That's what we are here for. It is our mandate to educate and empower you. And just because you do not fall outside of a reference range, doesn't mean that you're not exhibiting symptoms of a certain condition or have suboptimal status. And there's something that can be done from a naturopathic perspective to help optimize that and ensure that it doesn't become something that warrants further or more diagnostic discussion. So what are the few blood parameters that I think every woman should request on an annual basis, either from their naturopathic doctor or from their general physician. First, a complete blood count. That just looks at your red blood cells and white blood cells and helps us understand where you're at and if that requires further investigation. Other great things are a vitamin B12. Vitamin D B12 is critical for energy and methylation pathways. And so many of us are fatigued. And so knowing your vitamin B12 status can be incredibly helpful. A thyroid panel. So most doctors will just run a TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone. A thyroid panel is TSH, T3, T4, and thyroid antibodies. And that really needs to be the way we assess thyroid health. Vitamin D, which most individuals will pay out of pocket for, but it's a worthwhile investment to know your vitamin D status either annually or every two years because you really want to make sure that your vitamin D status is optimal. Your ferritin, that is your iron stores. And so, so many women are susceptible to low iron that it's really critical uh, because low iron contributes to so many other suboptimal health conditions that we really need to know that number. And two values that have become particularly more interesting to me lately is a fasting glucose and a fasting insulin. And with those two numbers, we can help understand if they're, you're exhibiting signs of insulin resistance. So your blood sugar, your your fasting glucose, your HbA1c, all may look perfect on paper, but using those two values to plug into a calculation and understand your level of insulin resistance, if there is any, is incredibly helpful for understanding or help optimizing your health. Functional tests are provided by naturopathic doctors that you may not otherwise have access to and you may not know about them. So I wanted to take a little bit of your time to just explain what other tests you have available to you. What is becoming increasingly more common, I, I don't have to explain it to many new patients anymore because most people are aware of it, is food sensitivity testing. And this just analyzes your IgG, your delayed onset immune response to food. This can be really helpful when we are assessing inflammation 
and any digestive issues or even various other health issues that could be due to inflammation in the intestinal tract. So if you are curious about learning more, ask your naturopathic doctor about the possibility of running a food sensitivity test. Other tests available are hormone testing. Blood testing for hormones is not the most accurate assessment for your hormone health. And therefore, looking at functional tests such as urine and saliva can tell us a lot about where your, your active hormones are at and what's really going on in, in your body. The next test that I like to do with some of my patients is an organic acid test. Organic acids really helps to show you about the gut microbiome, so yeast or bacteria overgrowth, neurotransmitter production, so how our gut health influences our serotonin, dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine levels, as well as our vitamin status. So being deficient in certain vitamins could also contribute to a uh, neurotransmitter deficiency. Heavy metal testing is another great test. If you have been exposed to heavy metals such as aluminum or mercury, then it may be a great test for you to consider. Comprehensive stool analysis can be helpful when looking at the microbiome again, so the bacteria in your gut. It can tell us a little bit about your digestion and your absorption capacities, as well if there are certain parasites present in, in the intestinal tract that requires more treatment or thorough investigation. Those are my favorite tests to discuss with my patients. I will bring it up in your initial assessment or any visit going forward if I do feel like it is indicated. But it is really great for you to know what's available to you so that you can ask informed questions and get the answers you need to get the health that you so deserve. So if you have any other questions, please contact us. Look us up at poppyclinic.com or send us an email. We would love to hear from you and we are here to answer your questions. Have a fantastic day.